Welcome back, Rankers. Still in Hawaii, back in Honolulu now, and coming to you from the Ilikai Hotel, which apparently is the Hawaii Five Over Hotel. So there you go. I just thought I'd show you a quick view before I head back to Melbourne. I wanted to talk to you more this week about keyword research and using Google Trends. And I'm going to have a look at something that's happening in Australia this week, which is, of course, the Australian federal election. It's a pretty boring topic, but there's some some interesting insights you can take out of Google Trends, and I'm using the federal election as an example because you can get an idea of, of the sorts of things that people are searching for and the slight differences or the nuances that may make a difference to your product being found or not found uh, for the right people. So, quite frankly, with the uh, politics in Australia, I'm not interested in either party, so uh, this is purely objective and uh, I'm going to go back inside because it's too noisy out here, there's too many people having too much fun. Now I'll see you in a second. Sorry about that view, pretty horrible wasn't it? Uh, oh, incidentally, last week, 400th upload, thank you very much. So there's about eight years worth of videos up there, one a week for the last eight years. Go and check them out on the YouTube channel which is forward slash Jim Boot. Now, back to the Australian Federal Election. What I'm going to do here, I've got a search here with Tony Abbott, of course, in the blue, and Kevin Rudd, of course, in the red. For those of you overseas who care even less about this election than people in Australia, um, the Tony Ab Abbott represents the Conservatives, and Kevin Rudd is, represents the Labor Party, which is sort of the left. So, if we take a look at, I want to have a look at, say, first of all, I'm going to go broad here. I'm going to go show me searches worldwide. Now we can see here, it, it's, and I want to have a look at maybe the past 90 days. Now, we can see here this spike. This is when Kevin Rudd actually uh, took over the leadership of the party from the incumbent Prime Minister, uh, Julia Gillard. Now, you can see after that, there was a little bit on, on Tony Abbott, not much there, not much there. And you can see here, most of the searches is coming from Australia. When you have a look at some of the related searches, you can see here, I'm on Tony Abbott tab here, you can see, you know, the, the most related search term to Tony Abbott is Rudd, Kevin Rudd. Uh, and then you've got Tony Abbott, Julia Gillard, Tony Abbott Daughters, Tony Abbott Debate, Tony Abbott, Tony Abbott News. We're going to have a look at Kevin Rudd. Gillard, of course, back then, that was the most uh, related term to that search of Kevin Rudd. Uh, Julia Gillard, Rudd News, Kevin Rudd News, Australian Kevin Rudd, Tony Abbott, Abbott, Abbott. So most of the searches over that time were about the Labor Party, not so much about the Liberal Party, as opposed to the Liberal Party or Tony Abbott searches, which at the time were more about the uh, you know Kevin Rudd, because that's what was in the news. So then we fast forward to the past 30 days, and we see a change again. We see it start to jump around. And you see here, all of a sudden, around this time, uh, they both peak because this is when, uh, kind of when the federal election was announced around that point. And you can see here that it's, it's jumping all over the place. But you can see here, Tony Abbott's got a slight lead of a few percentage points, which actually reflects the polls at the moment. Then you have a look at, and I'm, I'm just going to go to Australia here, so we wipe out any of the um, international interest. And you can see here, still, though, the graph hasn't changed a lot. It's still pretty much neck and neck, you would say. And this is the Tony Abbott regional searches. We can see here most of this coming from New South Wales, which is the most popular state. What I want to know, though, is the cities, because there's a lot of regional seats in Australia. So you can see here we've got a lot of uh, searches around Sydney, oh, Canberra, naturally, uh, less around Brisbane, more around Melbourne, and Adelaide and Perth. And when we have a look at Kevin Rudd for the same period, and we have a look at the cities, we can see here people searching for Kevin Rudd, it's pretty similar, a little more in Queensland though for, for Kevin Rudd. Uh, and you can see here the, the related phrases have changed over time. What I want to know though is the last seven days. And we can go and have a look at that with Google Trends. And we can see here that, uh, as the polls are saying, I think in Australia at the moment, is that you've got Tony Abbott you know, about 20% ahead in search volume for his name. And 
most of those searches are actually coming from Sydney, Melbourne, and then less from Brisbane. This is significant, I think, because we're not seeing any searches from over here, and we, we keep getting told by the uh, Australian media that the most regional seats or a uh, Western Sydney that uh, the both political parties are trying to um, win Western Sydney. So most of the searches there are coming out of Sydney for Tony Abbott. And in Australia, we've got a lot coming out of Brisbane and a lot coming out of Sydney and just a few out of Melbourne. So make of that what you will. But you do see this significant, since about Friday, August 30, you can see it, it's really gone up for Tony Abbott. Now, when I look at this sort of data, and you can take this when you're doing research on your own products and those sorts of things and what people are searching for, whether they're searching for shoes or runners or sneakers or sandals or whatever it might be, uh, I look at it to say, well, these really aren't just the name, aren't really buying signals at the moment. And there won't be enough data over the last seven days to really drill down on this. But what it does tell me is that there are more people trying to find out more about Tony Abbott at the moment than what there are Kevin Rudd in Australia, predominantly in, you know, the, well, Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane, I guess. And so make of that what you will. When we have a look at rising surges, not enough volume over the last seven days, that could just indicate apathy amongst the Australian public, which is entirely possible. And when, so the next test that I do, and I've done this a few times over the years for various elections, I want to go and see what people are putting up on YouTube. Uh, what are the satirists putting up? What are the haters putting up? What are the um, media putting up? And what are the parties putting up? And what's gaining traction on YouTube? Because let's face it, YouTube's our second biggest search engine. So we can see here, this is a Liberal Party video here. Um, now, YouTube or Google has decided to make that number one. So if someone goes and searches Tony Abbott in YouTube, you're going to get a Liberal Party video as number one, rightly or wrongly. And that is based on, let's see, I'm not subscribed there. And the that is based on a number of different things. It's based on the algorithm for YouTube. It's based on, um, obviously, keyword relevancy. It's based on, uh, you know, how quickly the video is gaining views. Um, it's based on a lot of things. You can see it was only update, uh, uploaded a day ago. The next one is Tony Abbott on 60 Minutes, which was five months ago. But so these are the ones that people are going to see. So what we're looking for is negative videos on. So you see the fourth video down is a negative video. Um, so I've got one negative video, two negative videos. This is from the same user, phony t uh, Tony Abbott. I would guess just from the title here, this is probably a negative one. So that's three out of the top. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll go to the top 10. So it's four out of the top 10, which would be, uh, and then five. So you would say 50% of the videos in the top 10 about Tony Abbott are probably not for Tony Abbott because I'm just making my mind up there by, you know, the usernames, Liberal Cynic, Phony Tony Abbott, that sort of thing. So five out of the top 10. So then we go and have a look at Kevin Rudd. And you can do this with your own product. You start to bring all this data together. You start to get a feel of what's trending right at the moment with Google Trends. And then you can start to see what's happening in YouTube. What are people looking at? What are they watching? What do they want to know? So quite often for product videos, it's about how-to stuff or it's about, about unboxing videos, those sorts of things. And we can see here, number one is actually a negative video. And I'm just making my mind up by that line there. Uh, so one, where are the other negative? Uh, this is a news video. This is a party video. Uh, that would be a negative one, I would say. So one, two, not sure about that one. Haven't watched it. Uh, although it's highlighting opposition questions. So I would say that's a pro-liberal video rather than a Kevin Rudd video. So you've got one, two, three, this is the news, news, and news. So you maybe you only got three out of the top 10. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10. So you would say only 30% of the videos, but I look at always the, the top video, you can see that's got twice as many views as the top Tony Abbott video, which is a party political video. So you would say more people are going to see possibly negative or positive or negative stuff about the ALP or positive stuff about the Liberals based on those views than they would, and that's just by looking at these numbers here. Uh, this one is very interesting in that it's only eight hours ago and it's already got 33,000 views. So that would be, I would say, a very positive video. Uh, and so this is giving us more up-to-date information of what people are watching, if you like, than, say, Google Trends, which has always got about a 24, 48-hour time lag. But what I am, you know, ascertaining from that is that, you know, if the election was held today, I would say Tony Abbott's probably going to win just by that Google Trends figure alone. Um, is Tony Abbott... Okay, that's interesting. Now, the reason I find that interesting is because it's an unfinished question. So what I'm going to go and do is go back to Google. And I'm going to go and put that is Tony... Is Tony Abbott a Rhodes Scholar? Is Tony Abbott sexist? Is Tony Abbott a Freemason? Is Tony Abbott a Christian? Is Tony, is Tony Abbott an idiot? Uh, is Tony Abbott going to win? Is Tony Abbott's sister gay? Is Tony Abbott left-handed? Why would you want to know that? Is Tony Abbott an Australian citizen? So now I'm going to go and try to find out. Uh, just to start to say more about the um, people using Google than it does anything about the election. Uh, is Kevin Rudd? Is Kevin Rudd a psychopath? Is Kevin Rudd a Freemason? So we're getting the same searches for... Um, is Kevin Rudd Prime Minister? That's probably more indicative of searches happening in the US than what it is. Is Kevin Rudd a Rhodes Scholar? Is Kevin Rudd mad? Is Kevin Rudd a Fabian? There you go. So is Kevin Rudd a narcissist? <laughs> so you would say there were probably a few more negative ones in there for Kevin Rudd when we when we look at the, the questions about the so-called leaders uh, of our country. But... Just on the Google Trends data of the names, I would say more people are trying to find out about Tony Abbott, and I don't think they've released their costings or anything like that at the moment. Maybe that's why the search spike has happened. But certainly on that data, my take on this is that the Liberals are going to win the election next week, and that is it for this week. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you can use some of those techniques when you're doing your own keyword research, and we'll see you next week from Melbourne this time. Thanks very much. Bye.